After keyboard shortcuts, our navigation features are the next major ones we want to look at. These are going to involve navigating through lines and characters of code, navigating through symbols like methods, working with bookmarks, and being able to toggle the sidebar to get yourself a little bit more view of your code. Some of these you may already know, but let's take the time to go through each one in Atom. I'm going to start off here with the download folder for this particular video, which has inside of it the last code from our work with Vanilla Press earlier in this course. And to begin, I'll come in and just look at our editor.js file here and begin with some basic commands that you may or may not know for navigating around code. The first one is, of course, that we can press forward and back to move through our code. Adding on to that, holding down the Option key and pressing forward or back will jump through your code words at a time. This can be helpful for faster navigation. Then we have holding down Command and forward and back, which will jump to and from the beginning of a line. We could also hold down Command up to go to the top of our document and Command down to go to the bottom. Likewise, if we hold down Shift and use these keys, for example, Command Shift Forward will highlight an entire line of code. Likewise, we could start at the end of the line and hold down Command Shift Back to highlight the entire line in reverse. The same is for Option and Shift. Holding these down with the Forward or Back key will select text words at a time. While these are small little things that you may or may not already know, they can greatly speed up how fast you're able to code. The next thing we want to look at is navigating by symbols, or as we could call it, navigating by methods. If you remember back, this editor is an object, and then each of these is a method or function attached to that particular object. If we ever wanted to quickly move through them, for example, here's update title, but let's say we were way down here and we wanted to look for it, we could use command R in Atom and it will bring up a list of all of the open methods in that file. Then we could simply search for a part of it. For example, title will find update title and listen editor toggle because it contains some of those same letters, so it's a bit of a fuzzy search, but we could quickly get to the code that we're looking for. So again, this is navigating by symbols and you do it by typing command R and then simply searching for or scrolling through the list to find what it is that you want in that file and jump directly to it. One last one here is that instead of pressing Command R, if you press Control G, you could jump to a certain line number. So if I, for example, had an error on line 16, I could jump directly to line 16 and find that. Again, that's Control G and then enter in the line number that you need to jump to. Next up, we have bookmarks which we can place anywhere in our code that we want to be able to quickly go to later. To add a bookmark anywhere in our code, simply go to the line that we want and press Command F2. This will add a bookmark icon and we'll add a few of these into our code. Again, by pressing Command F2. And then anytime we're working in our code, if we want to toggle through or jump through our bookmarks, we could simply press F2 to jump to the next one, or Shift F2 to go backwards. Holding down Control F2 will show us all of the bookmarks listed, and we could easily jump to them this way. So if you ever have a lot of code that you're working with and want to quickly be able to jump back to a certain part, try adding in a bookmark. Finally, the last little thing here is that we have a sidebar which shows all of our files. This could be very helpful if you want to regularly be looking at your files, but it does take up real estate on the page. In addition to adjusting it by dragging it around, we could also press Command backslash and toggle it in and out of view. 